can't come over a headlight to come on. It's it's notoriously temperamental in certain weather conditions. And today it just won't even flicker, so I have the over the sink light, which is not cute, by the way. It's not cute. Got that going on. Look at look at how can you see how full it is? It is like full as a tick. I think there's probably too much foamy bubbles on this for it, but. Then stop eating the goldfish. That's nice. Alright, so let's talk about my weight because I am pretty darn frustrated. Um, so yesterday, after we got home from, from the museum, I weighed myself. Every once in a while I'll weigh myself in the afternoon, kind of just for kicks. And I was in Wonderland, okay? Wonderland. And I was pretty excited because usually if you're lower in the afternoon, you'll always be lower in the morning. Because almost always in the afternoon, it's like two pounds higher than whatever you weighed, like than my, my, than my static weight point, which is to be expected because you eat and you know, you're doing stuff and all that blah, blah, blah. So, this morning, I mean, you see, it's close. I'm really close. But I'm like, come on, dude, really? It's like a half a pound. And I'm just like, <sighs> dude, I was there. I, I knew I would kind of bump back up, and but I expected to come back down. I mean, I ate vegetables all day yesterday. Like, I don't understand what... The only thing I can figure is those sweet potatoes knocked me out of ketosis and that I had an intense craving for onion and garlic and onion and garlic do have sugar in them. Like not, not like, I know, I know you're like, well, those aren't sweet, like, but like in reality they do have like sugars in them. That's why you can caramelize an onion, that's the sugars in the onion. Um, so I did eat like a like two like two whole onion like big onions like in two days so it was like well I mean if that happened if I got knocked out of ketosis and then I like ate sugar for two days like enough to knock me out still that's like three more days of Totally, I didn't have any birthday cake. I didn't have anything out of the ordinary yesterday. I'm saving all of my birthday food stuff. My birthday knocked me out of ketosis. Um, for the August, the first weekend in August, when we have the party that's for Evelyn and Lillian and mom and me, like for all of us together, so. I'm, I'm frustrated with that. Also, this shot makes my neck look huge. Mommy. What? Uh huh. I that. I it and then it, it dribbled? Yeah. You should drink it outside then. So, I am just going to continue to enjoy my sweet bulletproof coffee and my new cup. Can I touch it? No. Can I touch your cup? No. I touch it. It's got coffee and I'm drinking out of it. I'm gonna do some editing here. Are you happy? You get to touch it now. And then, I don't know what I'm gonna do today. I have to volunteer at Stan Hewitt like all freaking day tomorrow. So, cabinets might be today. I don't know, we'll see. All right guys, I'm gonna check out for now. I'll see you in a bit. Evie has called me and said there's a big airplane. Let's see what she sees. Look, you guys see it? That is the Goodyear blimp. It's a big airplane. It's gonna go behind the tree. It looks like it's going down. We're we're actually right by the um the Goodyear um 
hangar and the air dock is out at um, Suffield. It's right close to Dumas. <laughs> it's not that far. In fact, that's part of the signage when you go through Mogador. Like, hey, look, we're home with this. So random shenanigans, random excitement at the house today. We see them pretty often, actually, but you know, it's always fun. Right, so I totally got a freezer meal out. Uh, I know you would totally never have known that by looking at this. <laughs> so I just um, got it out of the bag and kind of dumped it around in here. I need to be more careful about that. I'm going to crack it. But anyway, so that is the crock pot going on for today. Thank you.